Well, I'm up uh, uh, nice and early on a Saturday morning and uh, thought I would uh, get out of the house. It's going to be warm the next couple days, so take advantage of the morning cooler hours and just kind of meander north of town. And not sure how far we'll get today. Just had to get out and, and do some uh, recording uh, today. Take advantage of uh, this window today and we'll see what we can see. Okay, we're on I-25, heading out north. One disadvantage of uh, leaving early, going out in the mornings, is uh, you got that sun in your eyes and just to see the silhouette of the mountains. Usually going this way, you get a really good view of the mountains, very detailed. Well, at least the, uh, the freeway here looks like it's been nicely, newly paved. So nice and, uh, nice and smooth. road we're going underneath is uh, called Paseo del Norte. It uh, take you all the way to the west side, all the way to uh, the West Mesa, actually. Now, Tramway is pretty much considered the, uh, the north end of town. We're going to go ahead and uh, hop off here. Leaving the Sandia Reservation and entering the town of Bernalillo. Let's take a ride through this town, check it out.
Well, that's the main street of Bernalillo. And we're just going to keep going north uh, on this uh, main street, I guess. And just kind of see what we can see. I had to stop here right on the edge of town. It says country store. Got some old buildings. Looks uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Don't know how old it is. Don't know if it's abandoned or just closed. Got a phone booth here that's uh, phone's missing. This looks like an old sheriff's uh, office to me over here. It's pretty cool. It's like a Bud Light uh, advertisement right there. I don't think I've ever been through the other end of Bernalillo here before. It's kind of nice to go places that you haven't been before. This looks like an ancient adobe building over here. Check this out. The dog just running back over there. He's kind of looking at me. Wow. Wonder how old these buildings are. I have no idea where I'm going or where this leads. But uh, that's what makes it, it fun, I guess. Oh, now we're approaching the town of uh, Al Gadonis. out this old building probably well over 100 years old 150 or more I just love these old buildings old architecture Looks like we can't uh, keep going north at that point. It looks like uh, the road was closed. And I think it's because of uh, our current situation. A lot of the reservations uh, are pretty strict about uh, letting people in and out of the Pueblos. Let's see, I think we're gonna have to get back on uh, I-25 here. Well, I'm a sucker for uh, statues and uh, sculptures and different art. Had to check this out. It's kind of a trek back here off uh, Furnish Road from the Algodonis exit, but uh, I think it's worth it to check these out. It's like they have some lights down here. They can uh, illuminate these at night. Wow, oh, there's a car back there. Like a, a rock car sculpture. Pretty cool.
Well, here's a good place to just get out and stretch my legs a little bit. At the San Felipe uh, uh, Reservation, the uh, Pueblo. I think they call it the Black Mesa Casino. They've got a very busy gas station and probably a convenience store there. The wide open space of New Mexico. Now I don't know what this haze is. I don't know if it's uh, from wildfires or pollution or what, but you can't even see the mountains out north if you're... I got off uh, I-25 and uh, I had forgotten about this. It's a place called uh, Buttigers. Uh, it's supposed to be a, a real booming shopping area uh, about halfway between Albuquerque and Santa Fe. And uh, I think it just just never made it for some reason. I'm, I'm not sure of the details. Maybe I can find something online. But uh, I'm hoping I can get up in there and and see what it looks like after all these years. I have not been up in this area for, oh gosh, probably decades. Maybe exaggerating, but, uh, and you can tell there hasn't been a lot of traffic through here because of the uh, grass growing up through the, uh, the cracks in the road here. And I'm hoping it's not closed and fenced off, but at least we can see it <clears throat> a little bit here. Sure, it's abandoned. Yeah, darn it, it is closed off. Private property, no trespassing, surveillance. Shoot, well, I can understand that. I'm sure a lot of people are hiking back in there. I'm not going to do that today. But uh, you can kind of get a glimpse. Of the area down here. Ah, what's interesting is uh, three... Uh, I think they're called Hano stoves right there and you can see some of the stores there way off in the middle there you can see a gazebo Let's see if I can get up here close without too much of a blur but shoot I don't want to take a chance to get in there and get in trouble so it's not something I like to do don't have the energy for that, but uh, it's definitely abandoned and overgrown. It's too bad. You'd think some, somebody would do something with it. A little bit of a different angle out here on the frontage road. Found a couple pictures online of uh, what it looked like inside there. Get a little glimpse of the inside there. You can see what a uh, nice little shopping center it would have been. It says museum and gifts, furniture there. See some pretty cool paintings of horses there on the wall. And you can see we're out in the middle of uh, absolutely nowhere. Santa Domingo Pueblo. 
I think this is about as far north as I'm going to go today. So we're going to head down here and think about turning around. Well, that's going to do it for this trip. Hope you enjoyed it. A little trip out north. Going to end it here at the San Domingo uh, Pueblo. Uh, so we're going to just go ahead and head on back south to Albuquerque. Take care of yourself. Bye now.